Good evening. Federal Opposition Leader Bill Shorten has announced a task force to help fix South Australia's economic woes just a day after a double dose of bad news for Holden workers. But South Australian business has slammed the move as simply an election campaign tactic. Federal Labor's answer for our struggling state. Opposition Leader Bill Shorten today announcing a task force to tackle the state's economic and unemployment issues. And South Australians are very good at making things. So I see defence jobs, renewable energy jobs, food industry, steel, manufacturing and manufacturing related services. The task force will consult with industry, unions and community groups holding forums and taking submissions. But Business SA has slammed the proposal as a campaign pitch. It seems a little, a bit little, a bit light and no detail. And also questioning the absence of the Premier or State Ministers in today's announcement. We're curious about the timing of a task force announcement. We're curious that there's no detail. Uh, and we're curious that there's no real relationship to the state Labor government, who's pretty well advanced on some of these areas. I don't think there's any um, difficulty in interacting with the state government. The announcement coming the day after Holden announced its early exit from Adelaide's northern suburbs. Others arguing it's a problem the government, with the purse strings, should fix. It's much better to spend some money now rather than having a welfare bill in the billions of dollars for years to come with deep scars to the Australian economy. Voters are divided on whether a task force is the answer. While some have welcomed the idea, others want less talk and more action. So it just depends what he plans on doing after he talks to people in the community. I think bringing a task force at this time, though helpful, would have been possibly more helpful a few years ago. Yeah, that'd be great for all of us and everyone that's um, affected by the situation in um, Elizabeth. Alice Monfries, Nine News.